everyone, this is Tamar coming to you with an awesome DIY project that my husband and I decided to do for our kitchen window. So this is just our version of this project. We actually got this idea from a video that we saw and I'll link that in the description. So this is the fabric we decided to pick and it's actually a thicker fabric. We got it from Joann's and we both really liked it so we decided to use it. Here are all the supplies that we use. First of all, we use our own blinds, wooden clothespins, Mod Podge as glue or sealer, a paintbrush, a pair of scissors, and measuring tape. So before this, we took measurements of our window and our blinds so that we could center our fabric and make sure that the pattern of our pineapples were in the middle of our shade. We made sure to measure about an inch wider on each side of the shade so that we had room to fold over. Now that we have our measurements correct for the width, we folded down the sides and used the clothespins to, as a guideline so that we can iron down the crease. And the crease is where we'll actually be cutting our fabric. Now that we've ironed down our creases, we are going to go ahead and cut our excess fabric off. I always say that word wrong. Access. Excess. It's excess, right? <laughs> So this is the part that make our Roman shade a little bit different. Um, we actually added a black outliner, and that's because in our living room, we don't have a television. We actually use a projector, and our living room and kitchen are kind of open. And so what we did was we laid our measured out fabric on top of the black outliner, and we pretty much just cut it the same size as the fabric. Time for the Mod Podge. <laughs> this is actually what we use to glue our fabric down to the uh, black outliner. We took our paintbrush and we only glued it on the edges of um, the fabric in the black outliner because we didn't want it to be heavier than it already was. Please do not do what we did. <laughs> We did not put anything under this project at all, and we're just, we just had it on our floor. <laughs> it's probably not the most responsible thing to do. We didn't make a mess, but it was still not smart at all. <laughs> After you've got the edges glued down, we let it dry, and it's time to prepare our blinds. So as you can see, my wonderful husband is cutting the string off of the blinds. So let me warn you now, the string he is cutting is on the outside of the where the blind is. That middle string that goes through each mini blind, you do not want to cut that string. Um, you will destroy your blinds and you won't have anything to work with. It is very important that you do not cut that string because that is the string that pulls up your blinds and makes the whole Roman shade work. The next thing that you want to do is section off eight 
rows of your mini blinds. Now we have the very flimsy, flimsy mini blinds and so we separated them into eight groups of four and then we glued them together. After that, you're just gonna cut the rest of them off, making sure to be careful and not cut that middle string. It's so important, I'm trying to tell you, you do not wanna make that mistake. Okay, so now you wanna lay your blinds on top of your fabric, making sure that everything is centered and that you can fold over the fabric um, on the bottom and the top of your blinds. Um, then after that, you're going to take each row and make sure they're spaced out and have the same amount of space in between them. Um, we actually just kind of winged it, but you can use your measuring tape and make sure that there's um, the same amount of space. So here we kind of cut some slits on the side. Um, you can do what works for you, but we decided to cut on the side to make sure that the fabric was able to fold over because we glued it and it kind of looked a little funny. Um, we weren't able to glue it down and keep it down, so we made some cuts on the side. And it was a little difficult as you can tell. <laughs> After that we made sure to fold our fabric over our blinds and we kind of secured them with the clothespins so that we can glue them down as we went down the edge. So all we did was take the paintbrush and put glue on the ends of each row and then we held down the fabric and returned the clothespin. clothespin pretty much to help it sit and dry and the Mod Podge actually took about 15 to 20 minutes to dry for us it didn't take very long at all but this is us pretty much showing you how we glued it down so I don't know if you could tell just then but our Roman shades weren't glued down all the way or like our fabric and our blackout liner wasn't glued all the way to the edge so after that we made sure to put some glue in between there and then put the clothespin back on so that it wouldn't you know look crazy and falling apart so our shades came out beautiful um, we actually did make a couple of mistakes because our blinds were kind of flimsy we should have glued them down to the fabric and as you can see they're kind of wobbly there when we pulled the string it was kind of bowing I guess but either way this project came out beautiful we both were very proud of ourselves because this was our first DIY project in the house and so we really liked it we really had a good time doing it and it really didn't cost us a whole lot of money the fabric was probably the most expensive because we kind of liked that one and we just didn't want to buy a different one <laughs> that was our fault but it came out really nice <laughs> I'm tired. See me. Mm. Mm -mm. 